guys, so today is part two of the video. I'm going to be dyeing my wig half black and half white. So if you have not seen the last video, I will go ahead and link it up here for you guys in the corner. So you can go watch that and watch me remove the color out of this side of the head. So my plan was to go ahead and dye this side black. And then on this side, I was gonna use Wella T18 to tone this side. But because it got so light, I'm not gonna use Willa T18 anymore. I'm gonna try just using um, purple shampoo. This is the purple shampoo that I always use. I get it from Sally's. It's the generic brand and it's just compared to the Shimmer Light shampoo. So I'm just gonna be toning this side with the purple shampoo and hoping that that works. And then I'm just gonna be dyeing this side black. And for the black color, I got box dye from the Dollar Tree. I've used this before to dye my eyebrows. If you've not seen that video, I will also link it up here for you guys. This works really well and it's super black and because it's a wig, I don't really care about the quality of the dye. So I just got the Dollar Tree black box dye. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply purple shampoo to this side first because that way if I accidentally get a piece of the black dye on that side, there'll be like the shampoo barrier so I can just like wipe it off quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and get this side of the hair wet and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the purple shampoo. All right, so here's part one and part two. I'm just gonna put this tube in here, shake it up, and then start applying the black dye to this half of the head. All right guys, so I got the black applied. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. I will see you guys once it is rinsed and styled and I have it on my head. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Okay guys, so I'm back and here is how the hair turned out. It turned out honestly better than I could have imagined. The only thing is the roots up here are a little bit brassy because that's where the black shadow root was obviously. And right now I don't have it like styled and I don't have my wig cap like on properly. So it's not really secure. Like you can see right here, I don't have it on very well. It's just literally laying on top of my wig cap because I don't have the spray that I need to be able to like secure it and glue everything down properly. So it's literally just sitting on top of my head right now, but it turned out so well. This side is beautiful. It's like white, silver, gray. And this side is just pitch black. My favorite way to wear wigs is with a beanie because then I don't even have to worry about gluing it down. And if like the part looks bad and everything, then I just throw on a beanie and then no one even notices. So this is how I like to wear wigs just because then I don't even have to worry about anything up there. I did not style it. I literally just let it air dry and this wig is so pretty. It has such like a natural wave to it. So I just let it air dry naturally and I like the way it looks with just like the waves. And now I can wear this wig throughout the process of my natural hair fading and me trying to strip out the color and still look cute. And it's so easy just to like throw on a wig, throw on a beanie and then walk out the house. You don't even have to worry about doing your hair. That is all I have for today's video, guys. I just wanted to revamp this wig on camera and show you guys what I did to get this half white gray, half black hair. Don't forget to check out my Instagram in the description down below. If you were to follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this wig. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird.